Hi there ladies and gents, uh, this is Michael Burhan here for another vlog. This is the vlog number two of three. Uh, the first one was a tongue in cheek rebuttal to the Archfiend um, due to the fact that he's just been pissing me off as of late. But I'm not going to go too much into that because that's been said, everything that needs to be said has been said on that video. Um, and I'll leave it at that really. Now, let's move on to, to bigger things, it includes um, this week gaming news. Well, there hasn't been much going on in terms of gaming news in in general because we try we highlighted a, a few bits and bobs in regards to what's what in in IGG, and we also did the the episode on, on gaming controversy. So if you want to check that out, you can do just by going to the link at the bottom there. Um, it's a great episode. It has myself, Chris Dace, and Sean Walker, and it has Chris talk about the fact that Lara Croft decides to shoot people in the dick. It's a great episode. <laughs> uh, but it has been touched on before. We've had like uh, YouTubers like Angry Joe, um, IGN, GameSpot, several different companies who have basically been sitting down and going through gaming's biggest controversies, including 2012, 2011. Ours is a bit different. Uh, we have more of a tongue-in-cheek perspective in regards to this, and it has a lot more social commentary for myself and the other hosts on the show. So if you want to check it out, please do so. There's been a lot of... Um, anticipation at the moment on the Nintendo side in regards to what's next for Smash Brothers. Nintendo have been, uh, as you guys know, have managed to amass an 875% rise in Wii U consoles uh, in terms of um, what, you know, getting the game console out there. And that's all due to the, to the fact that the Xbox One uh, has not really met anticipations of yet. I'm waiting for E3 to happen and that's only a couple of weeks away now so we get to find out exactly what's going on with the Xbox, what's going on with PlayStation 4 and also we get to, you know, if you're an American person you get to go out there on your local Best Buy and trial the next Nintendo games. Uh, I myself can't wait for Pikmin, I'm a huge fan of that game and by the Nintendo Direct it looks awesome. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really much going on, as you can tell. Nintendo side is the year of Luigi, so we're waiting on the next big Luigi fix. Everyone's waiting on new Luigi U, which is a DLC for Super Mario Bros. U. I don't like the fact that it's been priced at 20 bucks. In um, my opinion, it should be much lower than that. It shouldn't be at such a high rate just to play DLC. But apparently, it's an all new game, so we'll leave it at that. Um, now, let's go from gaming for a little bit and uh, talk about what's happening in comics. Uh, Jeff Jones is going to be implementing a new series, He's, which is going to be, I believe, Villains Month uh, with DC, so Villains will be taking over certain comic books. What I don't understand by the image, um, if you want to look at the image, you can also check out the article at fanboysanonymous.com. The image that has Sinistro, who, if you guys don't know and if you don't want to hear a spoiler, Please turn this video off now, but if you do, sorry. Uh, the Sinistro's gone. He's departed the universe as is, and has gone on his own mission. He's kind of redeemed himself in a way um, in Green Lantern 20, so I don't understand what the hell he's doing in this villain's uh, month thing, but we'll see. Same goes for Black Hand, who's basically dead, so why? Yeah, I don't know. So we'll get more answers in regards to that. Uh, Spidey seems to be going um, to a different place. Everyone's figuring out that this Spidey is Doc Ock because he has no access to Peter's memories. He doesn't know how to act like Peter Parker. He's acting more Octavius-like and it's causing a huge rift between Otto and everybody around him who loves Peter. Uh, Jameson still thinks the sun shines out of his ass, so yeah, there you go on that one. Um, and I'm also going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, promotion and, and stuff that I've got going on at the moment. So we'll, we'll move on to that quickly. I have um, a production company called Enigma Entertainment. I'm, um, I just signed a new film agreement for it. So we're going to have distribution rights uh, to two movies that I was in, I acted in, they were produced for me. They were done rather earlier on, uh, one being done in about... I believe it was 2007, uh, the second movie being done 2008, so I had hair at the time. I don't have that no more. Just baldness. So yeah, um, 
those are going to be distributed and, and they are coming out uh, hopefully uh, via a platform I can't name it yet I can't tell you guys the whole um, situation in regards to it but all I'm asking you is when they do come out can you please support them the fact if these films make money on the digital platform which I know they will it means that um, people like myself our other actors other writers other directors guys in the film industry who want to make um, a bit of money and who want to, to do what they love instead of having to go and work a nine to five every day when they you know they, they want to act basically they want to direct they want to produce um, they can make a bit of money the, the way that this company is going to work is it's going to help everybody because the fact is and I hate to talk politically here a lot of politicians keep going on about the fact that the entertainment industry is not an industry people should be working in it's um, it's not an industry that funds today's society now I hate to prove you guys wrong but it does fund today's society now um, let me give you a prime example theatres for instance theatres in Broadway theatres over here in the UK um, are being sold out for play after play, production after production, giving new writers a chance, giving actors a chance, giving everybody um, a show. People like to immerse themselves in entertainment. They, they want to sit down and take away from their everyday life and and see things at a new perspective, at a new level, and that's brilliant. You know, it's it's what people like myself want to do. We want to give you guys. We don't want to have a situation where people are forced out of this industry because some idiot in a suit says so. It's wrong. Now, number two, you've got television and film. You have television, written productions, you have um, television shows like NCIS, Burn Notice, you have um, new productions coming out, new comedies, you've got guys who are old actors who were once like Hollywood mainstays moving on to television because it gives them a more fixed rate contract and it gives them better deals because as long as ratings are high their shows will continue as you can see with Two and a Half Men which recently changed uh, the main actor and it's still going from strength to strength you know simple as you've got not just actors writers and directors you've got production teams you've got crews you have people who are benefiting from the entertainment industry who are making money from this industry because there is loads of work going on you have new shows coming out new different platforms that are viewing these shows including internet platforms are taking um, a lot of the you know the uh, reins a little bit now netflix has produced new television new content new seasons they they recently did house of cards had it to view on netflix watched it awesome awesome series um trying to think of others that they've actually bought out oh well i you know you guys know it so it's fine so but it gives options for television shows for programs you know um who don't quite make it on normal television and are able to go onto the Netflix streaming platform. You have companies like IndieFlix who are getting the independent writers, directors and, and actors out there. It's a great, great source of revenue stream because everybody wants to see it. Cinemas are being populated, billions are being spent by the public to go and watch certain movies. Stars like Robert Downey Jr. managed to amass a fortune after being relegated to nearly nothing after his career nearly went down the toilet. We don't need to talk about that. Mistakes were made, things happened, whatever. But the fact is, it's a viable industry, a very viable industry. And it comes from industries at the moment that are not so viable. You have the retail industry that are cutting back hours. Security's cutting back hours. You have guys like the Metropolitan Police over here, of course, who are cutting back hours. Government agencies. You, you know, the economy is in such a state why not look into entertainment as a way to make money? And also, we forgot about the main platform, YouTube, social media, television, you know, online streaming via YouTube, Blip TV, Daily Motion, you name it, you know, that people are using these platforms as a way to make money or top up their income. It's a great experience. And as far as I'm concerned, you can't 
put these avenues down. You can't say that these avenues aren't working for people because the fact is, even though it's a risk to put yourself um, in this type of position, it's still something that people love to do. So, you know, as, as far as in a political sense, it would actually be more wise to look at these revenues, look at how much money these people are making and make sure that people are taxed appropriately so money goes back into the economy. It's simple as that, you know, you've got guys making millions off of YouTube videos, t-shirt sales and whatnot. So if they're doing this, then the best thing to do is find out how much these guys are earning. And obviously they probably are you know, paying their taxes, otherwise they wouldn't be online and they wouldn't be making the money that they're making. So it's a great thing. That's that's all I need to say on that. And if you guys want to, if you, if you feel that I'm wrong, leave a comment. If you uh, want to discuss this further with me, uh, youtube.com forward slash nerd genius, of course, which is here. Leave a comment here. Twitter at Michael Burhan or facebook.com nerd genius. It's N-E-R-D-G-E-N-I-O-U-S. So, you know, sit down, talk with me. I wouldn't mind sitting there and having a conversation with you guys about this because it this is important, it does matter and as far as acts like SOPA are concerned they're still trying to um, get this act enforced you know, keep going to your congressman, keep saying no um, that's what I've done, I've recently signed a petition in regards to the UK to stop our government getting involved in this situation because there's a high amount of capital that can be earned from internet revenue if you stop this now you're going to eliminate something which is going to be the future of television believe it or not so there you go so i will see you for vlog number three where i will be highlighting a little breakdown about raw smackdown and also about tna slammiversary pay-per-view so i'll see you guys in a bit bye